All right, here we are again. Look, it's a little black asshole. Woo! This dog is got a mind of its own. You cannot even imagine. This is the most stubborn dog I've ever seen, but he's so cute. I love him still. All right, so today, man, we're gonna be talking about making your own wood and chainsaw. Woohoo! So this is my new one. Got this for my birthday from somebody. That was awesome of them, right? It's a Jones or Red. 2255 CS22 Pro model saw. Haven't even used it yet. Basically, just got it out and it's too pretty to use, man. I don't even want to use it. But, anyways, we're going to be talking about doing some sawing. There's the other box. <laughs> Look at them. They're crazy. Alright, let me get my gloves. Alright, maybe they're outside. I'm sweating. Alright, give me a minute. Stick with me. Stay. Okay. So. I don't know where the hell my gloves are. Everything's a mess because I'm trying to get ready for winter, but it's what it is. Okay, so here's what we do right here. I'm only using good fuel, non-ethanol stuff. I actually buy it in the two-gallon jug or one-gallon jug, but last time I went to town, I forgot my one-gallon jug, so I had to take a two-gallon jug. But I buy just uh, huh, the non-ethanol stuff because... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Got some sawdust in my nose. Well, the, eth the ethanol shit is really bad for any of your gaskets. For your car, too, man. It's, it's bad for all the shit. So, it's really bad in small engines. Fuck. Gotta sneeze again. Anyway, so, what I do is I mix my own fuel. Um, you can see right now I've been using my old Jones of Red, which I love. Dude, these saws are so badass. If you get a chance to pick one up, definitely pick one of these bad boys up. Like, no vibration. They just cut good. This one's older, but you know what? I did some trading on it, and I got it, and a little Echo. And this thing was so good that I got rid of the Echo. I got a still I have to rebuild. I did some trading, and I ended up taking it in the shorts on that one. Pistons burned, and it's a good one. It's a big still, so it's worth rebuilding. But if you guys are doing this, man, make sure that you're servicing your saw good. Keeping your blade sharp, because that's a safety issue. Also, running good fuel, man. So I get these cans. I've bought these in the past. And then what I do is I just buy non-ethanol fuel. I can get it in my area. And then I mix it. And then I pour it back in the cans, because this is really convenient and nice. Uh, run good premium bar oil. What I'm thinking about switching to doing is uh, vegetable oil, because... Uh, really high grade vegetable oil because that allows you to lube up your blade but it also doesn't put any toxins on the wood so if you're burning it and say for instance you don't have the best ventilation then when you're burning it this stuff is going to be getting into your wood stove which isn't a good thing man nobody wants that so I'm thinking about switching over to a more safer alternative I guess there's also some stuff I can do it on the ram charger today so I'll show you that Doing my hitch up, I had this pulled off when I changed out the the fuel pump, and uh, dude, that helped me. Didn't want to put it back on because I don't know, man. That's just how he is. So, also, there's my cow. It's kind of hard to see because it's not as bright of a day, but you can kind of see the texture on it. I hit it up with really nice black Super Max, and then I hit it back with uh, the 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 bed coat. Can't think here. I'm thinking about too much stuff. And then I hit it again with the Supermax, so you can see that it's got a nice, like, sheen to it. And the bed coat's nice, man, but the problem is for up here, I got a lot of dust. It's been a dry year, so I'm collecting all kinds of dust on all my stuff, man. And the bed coat, it just sticks to that. So wherever I spray the bed coat, I make sure I go over. It's a little bit more cost, but I figure it's an extra level of protection. I hit it up with another coat of uh, the Supermax black. All right, so let's get back to sawing. Always make sure you got good gloves. I just use the mechanics gloves. They work good for me. Um, ear protection, always. I can't find my earmuffs. So I just got these plug-in ones, which work pretty good. But sometimes you want to use both. And eyewear, man. I've had chains come across. I've had uh, chains break on me, whip me in the leg, do all kinds of stuff. It can be dangerous, man. You got to pay attention. Wear good steel toe boots. They also make other protective gear that's a good idea. The full shields, face shields are good. 
Husky Varna, I think, makes one with a helmet. And they also make it with the ears attached and the space green. So if you do get out. Oh, here comes the train. All right. So here's my pile I'm working on. Got this delivered last year. And it's drying out good, man. It's looking good. Let's let with this train to go by. So this is my pile. I got a good mix of birch. You can see some of it's punky. I mean, it's rotted and it's got ants in it, so it doesn't matter because I got a workshop over there and I'm, I got a wood stove that I'm putting in out there so I can burn all this crap out here or right there. It looks like shit right now, but I got my uh, outdoor fire pit so I can burn all this crap stuff out there. No big deal. And then this thing, something that's been built. This is nice, man. Check this out. This is something that's a safety feature to me. And you can put your logs up here and cut it without worrying about it kicking back on you without worrying about doling your blade as your blade is hitting the hitting the dirt sometimes i come in here you can see i edge some of these and just knock them out but just make sure you're being safe i mean i'm out here by myself and uh, you know it's still dangerous even if you know what you're doing so make sure that you're close you have your phone on you and that somebody knows what you're doing and you can see that like I got tons of spider webs in here and we got hobo spiders up here man and they're nasty they're a mix of two different types of spiders and these things are aggressive and they'll bite the shit out of you and they can do permanent damage to you so just make sure you're paying attention man that's it oh it looks like the sun's coming out it might be time to pack up man it might get too hot but uh any questions or comments let me know just make sure you're being safe if you're lifting these logs I'm pretty strong but I still like take my time and I like lean them up and if I have a big log like this say for instance I'll get it in the pile and I get it at an angle and then I'll cut this off let it drop and then that way I can handle half of the log versus trying to handle the whole thing also if you're gonna cut it man put it lean it up against something make sure it's secure make sure you got a good cut angle and that you're safe and that you're not gonna fall into your blade or fall over or have the saw come back on you so that's pretty much it uh, in the future I'll make another video on how to service your saw and um, get your get your blade sharp do all that kind of stuff if you like what you've seen subscribe send me comments questions whatever it's all about simple living and helping each other out all right later